Hello again, YouTube. Wow, echo. Yeah, so I am now in um, Newcastle train station. I was going to go out and look for somewhere that was open 24-7, like a cafe or something, and have a cup of tea. But as I was going to leave, they said they were closing the door soon. I didn't want to leave my bike locked up, left and like trapped so I couldn't get into it if I wanted to. And yeah, just a bit paranoid about it because I had a bike stolen last year. Uh, yeah, so there's that. Um, so I'm s waiting in this waiting room at the minute. Obviously on my own, and that's why I'm recording. Uh, there's a station, platforms. I've got to wait four hours until my next train. Which is why, obviously, I brought the books with me. <laughs> so... I might consider even trying to get some sleep, but these seats aren't really sleep friendly. Trouble with the bars being there in the middle. So, so yeah, I don't know. It'd be quite interesting to see how a train station operates at night. I mean, Lincoln's quite boring because there aren't many trains that up to midnight and then just stops. Whereas there's still trains coming in and out here, kind of. Well, coming in, not going out station's closed now so yeah that's it um, there wasn't much drama on on uh, the Newcastle train except for the drink that burst in my bag went all over my third book so that one's a bit sopping wet at the minute um, but it should be alright it's just a bit annoying like having the corners of it like soaked in um, energy drink but that'll dry out okay I think um, the seat I had reserved um, I sat next, well, it was a table, one of those table seats and like all the seats were full, um, including mine. Um, but the train was really, really quiet, so I just slided over to another table seat by myself. Well, not by myself, there was one other person there, which made it a bit more comfortable and didn't feel so cramped like a sardine. So, yeah, um, that train journey went bad. My bike got looked after pretty well. It got its own little compartment rather than just like stuffing it in. Pretty much the same carriage, so yeah, it's all good. So yeah, um, hopefully see you on the next train. While I, in the meantime, shall read. I just finished uh, Catching Fire, the second Hunger Games book, so I'm now on the third one. I'm really excited because of the cliffhanger and that was at the end of it and everything. I know this is probably old news to people who now because so many people have read it, but I'm really excited. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah, such a good cliffhanger. I know people that very. I know there's a lot of people out there go. Oh, the Hunger Games was a rip off of whatever that thing was called. I do know it, but I can't remember it now because I'm just thinking of the things. That Japanese one. I did try watching on TV. Ah. No. <laughs> uh, ba Battle Royale. That was it. I tried watching it on TV, but it's on really late and I fell asleep. So I haven't actually had a chance to judge it properly for myself. But they both seem different enough to me from what I've seen so far. So, yeah. Alright, toodles for now, YouTube.